Hey everybody, welcome back to another video of me, South Park Man Sat. And today we're going to be doing a character ranking of all the characters from Dispenser Camp Season 1 and 2. However, I'm not alone for this. We actually have a voice actor joining us. He's the leader of, he's the voice actor of Dan and also the leader of Dan Nation. Everyone welcome, Genesis. Hello everyone, hi. Um, it's great to see y'all on um, South Park Man Zach's channel. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited to be here, uh, especially since I've been following you, I think since the beginning. <laughs> I yeah. think like ever since episode one came out, like I I had like this whole phase of just like binging reactions and like reading through like community posts and everything like that. And your name popped yeah. out a lot. Uh, it might have been the Dan profile picture that made you stand out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, 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 like, you're, you're awesome, you're great, even without the whole Dan oh. love thing and all that. No, it's, yeah. It, it's been great, yeah, no, it's been fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to be on the channel. Alright, Genesis, so tell us something about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a debuting voice actor, that's, um, I guess... Dan from Disventure Camp is actually, like, my debuting role. Before that, I had zero confidence in voice acting, period. Uh, I literally tried the audition out on a whim. Uh, but now I have, like, full confidence in voice acting. Like, I'm very... I'm, I, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's very great. Yeah. Anyone who's interested in trying out voice acting, please feel free to. Because, oh my god, I have such fun with it. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy it. And now I'm, like, fully investing in it. So I, like... I'm going, like, or I'm trying to go as far as I can, so, uh, I, I recently bought, like, a lot of equipment, so, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna become a full-fledged voice actor, <laughs> so that's all yeah. exciting, yeah, but that's a little bit about myself, what I've been up to, um, other than that, I'm just a tired college student, <laughs> I'm just a tired college student, just going through the days, um, but yeah, no, um, Getting to play, uh, getting to play as Dan has been such a treat. I love Dan. Um, that's just that's the kind of thing that happens when you like really like, or you you start a role and you end up getting attached to the character, namely because now he's kind of got like, or they've kind of got like a part of you with them. So Dan's kind of got a part of me with them. So I love him for that. Yeah. He was just like there, really, wasn't he? Well, yeah, he definitely was there, like in the background. Which I'm personally fine with having more background characters, but like I, I totally understand the people who are like, man, Dan doesn't really have much going for him. He did it really, uh, especially towards the end. But I like the subtle hints that they gave towards his personality. Um, fun fact: when I actually got the card, uh, when I got like the bio. Or like you know how I would play Dan. Uh, the one thing it said was like, um, sorry, my brain's going. The one thing it said was uh, like, we would like to develop his character a little more than already, but uh, he doesn't talk about himself much. Which, yeah. looking back on that now, <laughs> probably means I should have played him more like straight faced and and uh, and shy. I did anything but that. <laughs> I went loud with them. I went very yeah. loud with them. So, yeah. um, I mean, take it for what you will, you know. Um, it's The character kind of changes based on the voice itself, right? So, but no, I've been happy playing with Dan. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit about my experience on the Disventure Camp set. I don't, I don't know how to say it. In reality, it was more of like a Discord server than a set, you know? It was... Yeah. <laughs> We didn't go on any locations, we didn't do none of that. Um, would have been exciting, True. but we didn't. <laughs> so Genesis, like, was Dan your favorite character before, just before you, you got casted as him? Well, so I would be honest, I, I got into Disventure Camp or, or when like season two came out. So I watched season two. I did end up watching Adventure Camp after. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna be fully honest with you. I did not give, I didn't give Dan a, like a single thought, namely because he had three lines and he was in the first movie. So like, yeah, I wasn't like, I mean, I liked his design. I thought it was really interesting, especially like the like the dot eyes. That's like, yeah, you don't see that usually in like, um, in, in especially. 
wasn't like in the whole drama or anything else. Like I like the dot eye design. It's it gives them yeah. a distinct edge, and I, I that's what really like made me stand out with them. But when the auditions came, um, like when you when you see someone like on 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 a, on a YouTube video and you're like. Like, they're awesome. Like, they seem like awesome people. I'm just never going to meet them in real life because, you know, our paths are not going to cross. Um, I, I had that feeling with Silly Billy, and then it happened. I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, uh, I, 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 I ain't even going to lie to you. I was starstruck. <laughs> uh, crazy to me. Because yeah. like, even T.D. Owen got to be in a video with him as well. That's mm. insane. Right, right, yeah, no, it's it, it's crazy when you actually like get to meet people. But th- that's 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 kind of the beauty of the community, you know. I think I think that's one of the nicer things about because uh, with stuff like Total Drama, I mean, like it, it's great series and everything, but you don't get that kind of community where you get to like with the people behind it. I mean, granted, the, you got Terry McGurin being active on Twitter, but it's not quite the same, you know. Uh, yeah, it's not quite like. The same. Just like this venture camp like brings people together really, don't it? Right. Oh, very much so. Very much so. I love the community for that. It's very, it's very homely in that sense. Um, it, it, there, there's a feeling of closeness that I, I never really felt with like uh, a lot of other fan bases. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's genuinely very awesome. And you know, it's lots of good friendships. Mm-hmm. A lot of great stuff. Um, and getting to be a part of the community getting to interact with people uh getting to um <laughs> getting to uh like how do i explain this getting to surprise people almost has been like such a great joy um and i i couldn't be happier with it. i really couldn't <laughs> yeah um and yeah uh i love this venture camp <laughs> great yeah. uh all right Oh. Should we get to the ranking then? Yeah. Alright. Up first, up, up first we have Aiden. Okay. Aiden. I liked Aiden a lot. I think he was a good character. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure whether to put him in S or A. Right. That's fair. I did enjoy it. Oh, I, love it. I, I should probably reserve my opinions until like, like, like my personal opinions until the actual tier list. But Aiden's Aiden's very interesting in how divided he is. I, I very much think. Yeah. Uh, but no, A, A and S are definitely very valid choices. Um, but the question is which one? <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll put him in A too. Okay, okay. Sounds good. If you, if you ever right, need Alec. to move him up later. Yeah. Alright, next up we have Alex. And Alex, he's going in S tier. Okay. One okay. of the best. I respect it. I respect it. I just, I, I, Alec was a really good character. Mm-hmm. He was Bob last episode. Oh yeah, <laughs> very much so. Yori really did him dirty. Yeah, I, cause it, it was kind of confusing. Like, Yori actually cared about Alec's well-being in right. the previous episode as well. I think the idea was that like, because she's so close to the end, like stuff like that. Like, I think she had that moment of realization. Like, ooh, like I shouldn't. I shouldn't be doing this, especially close to the end of the game. Um, she put, she put her, she put her strategy over her. I want to say em- figure. emotional well-being, or like I guess like or because because she looked very happy like with Alec. You know what I mean? So they were like close. Is this? I, I had a feeling you was gonna end like this, though. Yeah, I had a feeling too. Uh, this well, is like Ellie and Jake in the beta version, you know, when Ellie betrays Jake to take right. Fiore to the fight. Exactly. But this season they do it with Alec and Fiore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In- instead, it's Fiore who has to make the change. Yeah. Instead of Ellie. Uh, which I think is very interesting as well. Yeah. Alec, I really hope Alec comes back for All Stars, and he, he probably will. He probably will, given his popularity. I can see it, you know? I'm more concerned about Dan than Alec, honestly. Yeah. I mean, like, it depends. I think that could be, like, 16 contestants, possibly. Uh... I don't think I can confirm this, actually, so... (laughs) I'm gonna gonna zip my lips on that, but I I do know how many contestants are in there. 
Um, Wait, you? Oh. Okay. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm in All Stars though. <laughs> I gotta backpedal that. Um, Let's hope, dude. Yeah. But but I do know how many contestants are in All Stars. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Next up, we have Ali and Ali. I'll probably put her in B tier. Okay. I think that's she was position. fair. She like didn't do that much compared to Hunter. Yeah. Like, she was just she just didn't get a lot of screen. She just didn't really do much. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's totally fair. She was like she started off as one of my favorites, but like she kind of like goes down a bit. Mm -hmm. Overall, I still like Kali. Good right. character. Oh yeah. Absolutely. All right, Ash, Ash, next up we have Ashley and Ashley on Good character. Uh, oh yeah. No, I, I. Compared to the beta. Oh no. Like, yeah, no. The... Sorry, continue. Oh, uh, like, like compared to like the beta version, like she was just, she did, she didn't do much in the beta version. She was like quite easy to trick, but right. like she had to realize like before. Mm. We got to realize that Fiore was using her, like, after Lil convinced, after Lil spoke to her, but Nick just doesn't believe it, and mm. ends up going instead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In the, in the, in the remake, like, she got the biggest glow up in, in terms of character and personality, and design too, actually. Yeah. It, it was an absolute dump. Crystal definitely portrayed it. Yeah, definitely. All right, next character. Oh, okay, Connor's next. And Connor, uh, I'll put him in B tier. Okay. Top of B. Fair enough, yeah. Fair enough position. Because that. Uh, oh. I enjoyed Connor, but there's like one problem within the like rush development. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, that's fair. Especially given with like, uh, or he's like one of the early moves, so they had to rush the development. It only took like it only took him like two episodes to realize. Yeah. Which was quite a shame, because he could have been a really funny comedic relief character. I think so too, especially when, like, you just have an old man in there just, like, trying to understand how the kids are, how the kids are doing everything. One of my, one of my favorite parts with, with in, in this Venture Camp 2 was with him, like, being like, Hey, I want to play, like, one of your video games, and Ali hands him a console, and he just, like, just, like, uh, and then just breaks it. I'm like, oh, that happened so fast as well. I, I admire the strength that this man has to really, like, be like, yo, it has to be, you gotta really, like, pull apart the console to, make it, to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> one of my, fa oh, oh, one of my favorite, my, my favorite line kind of had was, like, his first one when he says, oh, hello, friend, I heard you talking about your social network, how about follow me on MySpace? <laughs> He's such a boomer, I swear. He was hilarious. I, I don't even know if MySpace is still up, but if it is, I, I would follow Connor on MySpace. I would get an account specifically to follow Connor on MySpace. Yeah. That's it. I wouldn't do anything else with it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Really funny character, though. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed him a lot. Yeah. I enjoyed he would him be a lot. Time he was there. He'd probably be an S tier if he lasted longer. Hmm. Cause I like I, I actually didn't expect his elimination to happen so soon. Like right. I actually thought he was gonna make it to merge or be a late pre-merge boot. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. I thought he was gonna make it around that level. I thought he was gonna be, I thought he was gonna be placed kind of where Tess was. Um, yeah. But it ended up not being the case. <laughs> I think him and Maggie should have swapped places. Really, like Maggie could have gone home with Kai happy. I agree. I agree. Uh, granted, they're still both early boot placements. I do. Yeah. All right. Next up, next up, we have the king himself, Dan. I'm too Dan, biased. Dan, he's going Okay. Okay. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm too biased. You do like, if you want to put him in any other tier, you're totally fine. I, I'm at this point like I'm too biased to like be able to give. <laughs> 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 he's got too much of me in him now that like, even if someone's like, okay, just think about it from an objective standpoint. I'm like, he's still ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah, but no. Uh, absolutely fair. Absolutely fair placement. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, dancers there, like, we like get, we, we get like so used to him, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. You, you definitely get enough of him there, even if he is a background, not as front and center. I think you get enough to know at least a decent amount of his personality, and also yeah. he has some um, lines that I think people enjoyed me portraying, so I'll take it. <laughs> like, is it just me or does Dan look like Harry Potter? I gotta be honest with you, I I did initially think of that. I did I did think of that when I when I uh when I first saw him in episode one. Like my brain immediately like envisioned a scar on this man's head. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Voldemort's about to get him. We'll wait for it. Uh, um, nope, but nope. He ends up going home on the bus of losers and Voldemort waiting for him. <laughs> Voldemort waiting for him at the other end. Fun fact, Jensen secretly Voldemort. Oh, of course, right. He, he, Jen, Jensen. It, it, Voldemort's on the back of his head, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. I should have guessed. Voldemort waiting for him at, like, the end of the bus, and he's just like, don't mind me, I'm going to film you. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just asking for the stone as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. And then Stan's just going, what the hell is that? <laughs> and, okay, next up, okay, Derek is next. Okay. Derek, I'm gonna put Derek in B, I'll put him in B tier. Absolutely fair, that's fair. Considering like him and De Trevor, they haven't really done much compared to Crystal. Right, yeah, Crystal, ha Crystal had her own like her whole arc going on you know uh trevor yeah. and derek i mean they got they, they they got some evil plot going on um yeah but you know not quite like as front and center um yeah not what we were expecting really yeah exactly exactly yeah i really i i want I, i'm so curious to find out what's going to happen at the end of episode 13 you only have to wait like less than two weeks. <laughs> Obviously, you know because you read all the script. Right, I I did. I I do know. I know all that. So oh. I can't wait to finally say stuff about it when uh. Yeah. When the, uh, <laughs> when the uh, two weeks come at their end, but um, no, it'll be exciting. Uh, and and we'll get to play that live for y'all <laughs> in um. Uh, in, uh, on December 2nd. Uh, oh yeah, I've already, I asked four questions already. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited. I am very excited. The, the pieces are coming in place for the live table read, and I am so ready for it. <laughs> I just hope I can make it in time. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, we still need to give a time. I actually need to talk with Tom Toy. Uh, cause he's been doing a lot of less his goal. Like, I couldn't get this done without him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wait, should we move on to two? Yeah. I, I want to make it clear. Right. I'm only, like, hosting slash, like, facilitating the table read. I'm not, like... At this point, I think Jace is, like, the behind-the-scenes MVP table read. <laughs> yeah. not only is man doing... Doing... He, he he made the form that like you submit the questions on. He made the or er, he's uh, currently going or er, he currently set up a thing for voice line de uh, um voice line like so like you can like if if you donate for because because again it's also a charity right so if you donate yeah. um you will get voice lines from us like like you can donate and then provide like a request for a voice line to be said. Uh, oh wow! By like a specific character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is actually gonna be a thing which I will mention later in another Instagram post. Um, but okay. you can request a voice line, and then like as long as it's like obviously like appropriate and you know, uh, yeah. not too crazy, uh, we'll do it. <laughs> All right. We'll do it. Yeah. No, that that's another thing he set up. He set up the uh, the charity itself so that uh, everyone can donate. Jace has been like a huge behind the scenes guy. I'm only hosting slash facilitating. Don't be confused. Um, <laughs> sorry, I went on a whole thing. Uh, I just wanted to shout out Jace because he's been doing a lot of. I yeah. want to make sure credit for it. 
Uh, sorry, sorry, we're on the tier list. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Right, back to the tier list. Right. Right, next. Okay, Drew's next. And Drew, I'll put him in B tier. I think that's fair given where he that, that, like, showed up. You know? Yeah, because I. I mean, he was a, he would have been a lot higher if he lasted longer. Yeah. I definitely like, think, I think so. like, I actually kind of didn't expect him to go soon, because, like, especially after episode two, like, seeing him, like, noticing Tom go out. Go out. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, yeah no, like, that's fair. That could have had that be a good story. That could have been, like, a really good storyline for Drew, and a lot of development. I think it would have been very interesting, um, but I get, I guess they had to juggle with what they got. I mean, I don't know if you saw the Silly Billy interview, but, like, his bio card literally said, unfortunately, we have to sacrifice Drew. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just to get, I feel like they mainly just did that so Dan could last long. I think so, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which I will take, because, you know, uh, damnation. Yeah, Drew, <laughs> Drew sacrificed himself for the damnation. I respect it, you know. Uh, th I I will forever respect Drew for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love Good it. on you, Drew. Alright, next we have Ellie. Ellie, I'm put up A tier. Okay, okay, that's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah, consider yes. She's done a lot more, though. She's, her character's, like, really grown on me a lot for these last few episodes. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Yeah, like, I, I, I could see her winning again, maybe, but I feel like it would be a bit obvious. Right, right. No, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, we, we got Miriam in the finale now, so who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's she can be the, the, the surprise winner the three. You know what I think's going to happen, though? Or maybe so it could be Fiore. I think I, I think is going to win and Jensen's going to take the prize money again. <laughs> oh, it could be that. It could be that. It could actually be instead that. Of, instead of Fiore getting run over, she's just going to be, like, really angry. Right, right. <laughs> I can just imagine what she'll say as well. <laughs> she'll be like, That's my money! Oh my god, that would be... I mean, we, we we know it ain't... We know Fiore was not above swearing, so... Yeah. If Fiore ends up winning and Jensen kicks the money, then Fiore is going to be pissed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so any of the three can really win. Uh, yeah. It wouldn't really be nice if it was for Miriam. It, it, it wouldn't really be nice seeing, like, Ellie and, or, Mir or Miriam getting the money took off them, though. Oh yeah, no, that that would suck, right? <laughs> Especially since like, like Miriam's all about I need it for my retirement fund. It's just like, oh, well. And Ellie needs it for like she's poor. Right. Yeah. Um, bless her soul. Cause yeah. Ooh man, work life. Uh, all right. Speak of the devil. Fiore's next. Speak of the literal like little devil, basically. Oh, Fiore, she's going in S tier. One of my favorite characters. She's a she's a very fun villain. I will give it that. I I love I I personally love the idea of actually wait I shouldn't even say this. That's my bad. <laughs> yeah no absolutely valid to have her in S tier. Yeah. All right next. Uh, she's like I really hope she comes back to All Stars because I think she could form some really good interactions with some of the season two characters. Given how popular she like, is, I can see it. I can definitely like Yule for ex like Yule for example. Oh, the moment Yule and Fiore team up, it's over. That'd Get Gret in there too. We're done. <laughs> like, I bet Yule and Fiore would just argue constantly as well. <laughs> maybe like maybe a really fun team. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree. <laughs> Knowing Yule though, he'd mock Fiore though, and oh yeah, and Fiore would Fiore would always swear at him. <laughs> Uh, they just have a swear off <laughs> in the back of the yeah. cabin. <laughs> I just, I really want you in all stars. He's like one of my, he was, he's actually my favorite season two character. I wouldn't be surprised if he is. I really wouldn't. Because it's you. Despite him not making too much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he was, he was villain for the first part. It's you. He's popular. Even the Patreon chat I made bring him up. You know, because he can't come yeah. up. Yeah. Ah, but... <laughs> Yeah, your reaction. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Uh, that, I love the whole trend. Uh, like the VA's ad. Shoutouts. 
and especially Alex. When Alex ha Alex husband Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. They chose to keep that one in. I mean, Jared and Robert kept it in, so canon. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder what's gonna happen like if you all read the Patreon and he reads out Tam loves Yule and his spicy ass. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I would love to see his reaction. I can't wait. I absolutely cannot wait. Okay. okay. Our next next up we have Gabby. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Gabby. I'm, I'll put Gabby in S tier. Okay. Okay. Solid place. Yep. Your that your best friend. Well, former friend. Former friend now because. Uh, yeah, she got you out. Yeah, unfortunately. She, she yeah. really done said. She she, she really did. could not get over the whole voting thing. After all, after all you did for her as well. Like, after you convinced all I did. her. To, yeah, she needs to apologize to you. I know, I know, but unfortunate. I don't you convinced her to stand up for Grit as well. Exactly. Ex Ellie didn't even do that. <laughs> Ellie yeah. didn't even do that. I'm still mad about that. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but I still put her. Well, uh, you'll see where I put her. <laughs> you need to get revenge on Gabby next season if you come up for All Stars. Oh, yeah. We'll have to see it. We'll have to see it. Maybe we might. We might. We might get a redemption arc. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? All right, Brett. Next up, we have Brett. Ooh. I'm curious. I'm not sure whether to put her in A or B. Hmm. <laughs> Her character did grow. Her character started to like get better, like with Fiore and Alex. Mm -hmm. I used to. I I actually hated Gret originally, because like especially in episode six. Oh right, yeah. No, oh, that's fair. Um, especially since she tried to get you out as well. Yeah, yeah. No, she did. It was a very close call too. <laughs> but, okay, I'm gonna put Gret in B tier. Her character actually did get a lot better though, and yeah. I think her best episode was probably episode nine with the zombie apocalypse. I would, I would put. It, I mean, I love episode nine too, personally, because you know. That's my favorite episode. Oh yeah, no, that's absolutely. <laughs> All right, next up, on Hunter's next. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put Hunter in A tier. I know a lot of people. Uh, some people don't even like Hunter that much, but I actually, I actually enjoyed him. Hunter. Oh, yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I actually don't understand like why people don't like people like Ali and Tess more than Hunter, but considering they didn't even do much. Um. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when when we get to my tier list. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. All right. Okay, Jake. Hmm. Jake, Jake, Jake. Hmm. Jake. Uh, where should I put you, Jake? E or C? Hmm. Currently, I, like, I'm surprised by how much the fan base hates this but... I'm gonna. I mean, Jake kind of. There's like some episodes I like him and some I don't. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm not. I'm either gonna put him at the bottom of B or the top of C. Bottom of B, top of C. Okay, okay, that's fair. No, I'm just gonna put him at the top of C. Okay, works out. Yeah, he was. Tom, he should have gone into the J, but like. <laughs> fair enough. This is so easy to trick. Way too easy. Especially, I'm, I'm gonna copy what? I'm gonna copy one of Billy's lines. Seriously, Jake, you have to stop falling for it. I mean, Billy wasn't wrong with that. It, oh. Trevor wasn't wrong with that. Both of them, yeah. they both share the same sentiments on that one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, Jake was way too gullible. Yeah, I know. I really hope he redeems himself for, like, for All Stars. If he well, does come back. He most likely will, though. I, yeah, because Jake is a very popular character. I mean, well, I wouldn't say any- I mean... Is he, though? I'll say, okay, so, well, popular in the sense that everyone, like, knows him. Mm, true. Not necessarily everyone likes him. 
I could do like some getting. I think the All Stars and the Nogen are gonna become friends. Right. 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 Maybe back to Medina, maybe. Hmm. Okay. Our next next up we have James. James hmm. S tier. Okay. Okay. He's an S. I can yeah, see I think like, he had a good. I think he had a good winning. I think he was actually quite well written. To be the winner. Yeah. Yeah, it's like. Especially like him starting off, he, him using Aiden at the start, and kind of, he was kind of a villain at the start, of the half, first half, but then redeems himself into an anti-hero. Hmm. Absolutely fair. Yeah, but I'm actually interested to see what they'll do for him in all stars. Hmm. Like, oh, I think him and I would love to see what will happen between him and Yor. <laughs> like, we'll have to I bet. See, we'll have to see. I could see James going early, maybe in all stars. So Aiden can like shine independently. It's very possible. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll refrain from saying anything. I'll refrain from saying anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next up, we have Jensen. Hmm, Jensen. I'm not sure if it's going to C or B, considering he hasn't done much. I guess the whole point of him is he's supposed to be in the background because he doesn't want to be on the team. Uh, oh, yeah. But even still, he's in the background. <laughs> he hasn't watched like episode 8, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so either. He was, he's like, not, he's been gone for most of the season. We, we don't even we don't even know why he's what most wanted. We don't know uh, yet. You, well, uh, uh, you probably know because you put the script. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it ever comes up. Right. Jensen's going. I think Jensen for now is just going to be in C. He, he'll probably go off. He'll probably go off though. Maybe. Maybe. At least until. So who knows? He might have like the biggest character arc ever in the fucking office. <laughs> we might we right. might see Jensen's son, you know, all that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let, okay, Kai is next. Okay, Kai. I'm gonna uh, Kai goes in next year. Oh, that's fair. That's absolutely. I really enjoy Kai. Kai is a lot of fun. <laughs> his, his voice actor did such a good job. As well. Oh yeah, no, that that's part of what Kai in the first place was the voice actor's job. Uh, she picked him. She picked his opinion. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I just, it was really sad to see him go so early though. Yeah. It was expected, but so bad. It was expected, unfortunately. It's a lot more. Yeah. I probably would have kept him a lot. Maybe a couple more episodes, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, no, I feel that. I totally agree. But I feel like they could have given Yulan high like that Scott and Dawn kind of storyline, like 2.0. Oh, yeah. I think so. Like, your frame's tied or something. Speak I mean, speaking of Scott and Dawn, though, I do wish they carried that. <laughs> yeah. Dawn done dipped. I never saw her in all stars, yeah. despite the fact that I feel. Yeah, she should have been in all stars instead of Sam. Yeah, I do agree. So, Owen and Owen and Brick as well. They should have been in it. They should have 100. That, I they were give me. <laughs> I don't know how Owen was in an all stars. Right. He literally won the first. He's the OG winner. He is the OG winner. Everyone loves him too. At least they got him in Redonkulous Race. I'll take it. That just makes no sense for Sam, though, to be in All-Stars. Right, Sam. That's the... the... <laughs> See, I Him forgot! Guy. I forgot! That's how... <laughs> that's how much he shouldn't have been in All-Stars. I legitimately forgot about him. <laughs> Guys, we're literally just talking more about other stuff than the ranking. Right, right. My bad. My bad. <laughs> this video's gonna go on so long. I guarantee this video's gonna be on for over an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> 
It's this okay. might be longer than a silly Billy video. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright. Okay, let's let's move on. Okay. Shall we?